try to name some cyclic compounds. So that's when all the carbons are in a ring. And the base chain, the base name is going to be the, whatever the ring is. So I have one, two, three, four carbons in a ring. Well, if I had four carbons in a straight chain, I would call it butane. But since I have a cyclic compound, I'm going to call it cyclobutane. 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 And then I have to label the substituent that I have there. If I have a CH3, that's just a methyl group. So I'm going to call this guy methyl cyclobutane. So I only have one substituent on, on this ring. And I'm always going to start uh, numbering the ring on a substituent. So if there's only one there, I don't have to say one methyl cyclobutane because that's the only place that that substituent can be. For this next one, I want to count how many carbons I have in my ring. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six means it's going to be hexane. And if it's in a ring form, we're going to call it, we're going to add the prefix cyclo. So this is going to be cyclohexane. And then I have to take into consideration the two substituents that I have here. These again are both methyl groups, a methyl and a methyl. And I have to number the ring now because I want to I want to say what carbon those two methyl groups are on. Uh, and I want to get the lowest set of numbers for these methyl groups. So if I start here, I have one, two, three. So I'd have one and three dimethyl cyclohexane. Or if I started over here, I have one, two, three. And that would also be one, three dimethyl cyclohexane. So either way I start, uh, I'm going to get the same number. So it doesn't matter if I start at one or the other in this case. So I have 1,3-di-methylcyclohexane. Um, since I have two, instead of writing 1-methyl-3-methyl, if I have the same substituent, I'm just going to use that prefix di. And if I if I started over here, suppose I wanted to go, what if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then I have 1, 5, that's going to be too many. So you want to get the, the smallest number um, possible. So that's why we went in that direction. For this next one, Again, I'm going to count up the number of carbons in my ring. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So five would be pentane. And since it's in a ring structure, I'll call it cyclopentane. And then I have two substituents I need to take into consideration here. I've got a methyl and an ethyl. Here's my methyl. And here's my ethyl. Now, when I'm numbering these, I'm, it's going to be one and two. I can start here and do one, two, or I can start here and do one, two. But either way, I might, the only numbers that I'm going to, lowest set of numbers I can have are going to be one and two. So now I have to think about who's going to be one and who's going to be two. Well, I have an ethyl and I have a methyl. So I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. So alphabetical order is going to be my tiebreaker here. So I'm going to say one ethyl and two methyl cyclopentane. So I started numbering here. One, two, three, four, five. So I got one, two, and I'm going to prioritize the uh, alphabetical order. And this next one, I have three, three carbons. I have one, two, three carbons here. And I'm going to, um, three means propane. I'm going to write it down here because I don't think I have that much room. So propane, and since it's in a ring structure, I'm going to give it that prefix cyclo, cyclopropane. And now I have to name all my substituents. I've got a methyl and a methyl and a propyl. So I've got three, one, two, three. This is a propyl group. And I've got methyl and methyl. So now I'm going to have dimethyl. My choices, again, are going to be one and two. So what do I do this time? This time I have two substituents on a single carbon. So if I name that one one, then I'm going to get the lowest set of numbers. I'm going to get like a one, one, two instead of a one, two, two. This is a lower set of numbers. So I'm going to prioritize um, the carbon that has two substituents on it. So that's going to be, I'm going to end up with one, one. Again, separating the numbers from each other with a comma and the numbers from the letters with a dash. So I'm going to have one, one. Instead of saying 1-methyl, one 1-methyl, one I have 1-1-dimethyl. One, one and then I, on carbon 2, I have a propyl group. Huh. Okay, let me just 
backtrack that a little. There we go. I've got one 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 dimethyl two propyl cyclopropane. 